In the ongoing shadow conflict between Iran and Israel, the two arch enemies have been engaged in direct and indirect hostilities for decades now. And now the landscapes of intense hostility between the West Asian countries are changing. Iran's nuclear program with its potential to develop nuclear weapons has been the undercurrent of this current conflict. In the year 2012, Iran's military chief of staff had declared that Iran is standing for its cause and that the cause is the full destruction of Israel. Former president of Iran, Ahmadinejad, had also pushed his wish to, quote, vanish Israel from the pages of time. In 2012, senior Iranian cleric Ayatollah Khatami emphasized that the spread of the Islamic awakening in the Middle East heralds the destruction of the Zionist regime. With this anti-Israel rhetoric, many Israelis expect an eventual attack from Iran. The rivalry that entailed alleged terrorist attacks, assassination of major military leaders and nuclear program heads is gradually evolving into attacks on maritime possessions and maritime domains as well. In recent times, both the sides have accused each other of attacking merchant ships, damaging them with explosives. The sensitivity of the water route from Asia to Israel is all the more in focus now, as officials have been warning that the situation could rapidly deteriorate further. Iran has been particularly active over the past decade in the region of the Gulf of Oman and the Strait of Hormuz, which is a key global waterway. And now that the talks on reviving the 2015 nuclear deal are underway, the prospects of Iran returning to the deal don't seem very bright as of now. Uncertainty looms owing to Iran's persistence on having all the sanctions lifted. US has hinted at easing some of the sanctions in exchange for Iran partially suspending its nuclear activities. But now, a cloud hangs over the talks with Iran's constant enrichment of uranium significantly beyond the limits of the nuclear deal and building more advanced centrifuges. Now, we also spoke to David Petriarkaros, author of books like Nuclear Iran and War in 140 Characters. For more details and perspective on this development, listen. If you look at the Israeli media, they've been reporting for you know the last sort of 12, 13, 14 hours that, that it was Mossad as well. So it's not just Iran. This is being leaked throughout Israeli media. And it appears that, that the Israeli establishment, while as ever officially not commenting, is, is very keen to, to take the credit for doing exactly that, sabotaging of the Iranian nuclear program once again. We have to look at the timing here. You know, again, we are seeing a lot of messaging and this comes, you know, we must look at the timing. This this move comes as uh, Iran and, 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 the, and the sort of the, the, the key powers who were part of the nuclear deal are getting ready to resume talks. So I think it's just an Israeli way of saying that, you know, talks may be starting again, but do not forget that, that we remain very, very clear that Iran will not be allowed to weapon, you know, to, to, to sort of go towards a nuclear weapon. So they're sending a very clear message here again.